Dan Moskal here, and we are going through a WordPress tutorial, and we're going to look at some of the comments settings and how you can turn these on and off and uh, configure some of the different settings with your comments. So this is the site we're looking at, and we're going to go ahead and look at the uh, dashboard. So we can go to our comments right here. If you still see this box on your website, you can turn them on and off right there. Or you can go over here to the settings, and then it's under discussion. Click there, and these features right here, and of course the comments is this section right here. You know, you, people can type things in and whatever it may be. If you have a brand new website, this is a very, very, very important thing to do. And there are some, first of all, the plugin Askimet, that's A-S-K-I-M-E-T if I remember right that is essential to make sure you don't get flooded with tons of comments but if you want to just turn them off just uncheck this box and I strongly encourage you to uncheck your pingbacks and trackbacks as well otherwise you're gonna have thousands of spam comments with all sorts of links uh, links in them and it'll happen just it's not fun to spend a whole bunch of time going through comments and just deleting them from a bunch of spam articles or spam uh, comments about Viagra and <laughs> all that stuff. So these settings too can make it a little bit more difficult for people to send you spam or comment spam. Uh, as well as this is a really good one to check. Comment must be manually approved. And we were recently asked by a very sweet woman uh, we're gonna just refer to her as Miss J because I don't want to mispronounce her name but we are going to through go through here she asked how to turn off your comments so uncheck this box allow people to post comments on new articles and then go down and click save changes and there's some other features on here if you're looking to just tweak some of your options but there's a really important thing here we need to because different pages, like for this page, this comment box is overridden, uh, meaning that we have comments enabled on this page, or this post rather. Uh, it's important that you are aware of that at least, that comments can still be shown on individual pages and stuff, or posts rather, I'm sorry. So you scroll down though, because all these options can be overridden. But what we want to do is just uncheck allow comments. Now we're going to go up and click update. So to turn them off, you need to turn them off in the settings tab at the discussion level. And then they should automatically already defaulted on new, especially new posts. But any old posts where you see the comment box still enabled, just go in and edit the page. And you're going to have to turn it off manually, like override it for that specific particular page um, and so for our website this is now what's showing sorry let's just go to the home page or go to another page because we have the discus comments uh, showing on our website which is if you'd like to see the process of how to do that this is using discus and you can visit this website or just search D-I-S-Q-U-S in Google. It's a very easy way to have good comments in some of the bigger websites. If I remember correctly, we saw CNN.com along with some of the bigger news sites that are very reputable using this Discus comments feature. And it allows people to use their Discus profile but also their Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Google Plus account to leave a comment on your website, which is very likely to reduce a lot of those spam comments. And of course you can automatically add, or not automatically, but you can add the Facebook comments as well. If you'd like to see any of these other comment features or the discus actually how to go through that process just leave a comment below and I'll be happy to go through that process for you but you can see we don't have any of the WordPress default comments anymore on these pages or these posts um, I would recommend that if you are turning them off to go back through and check any of the old posts and pages you have on your website to make sure that those comments are not enabled 
And this is Dan Moskal. Please visit danmoskaluniversity.com. Please sign up for our upcoming, uh, sign up for our free newsletter. We have an upcoming SEO training event here on Wednesday, January 21st that we're going to do. Uh, it's a live event, and we would like to walk you through a lot of the SEO knowledge that we have and this is going to cover a few sessions but the very first one we'll leave a link in the description below uh, to visit and sign up for free we want to help you when it comes to SEO and that free natural organic search listings um, in the upcoming videos we're going to look at the categories uh, Miss J actually also asked us how to remove these categories here where it says filed under and right now this one says filed under men's dating tips so we're gonna look through and try and find a good plugin to do that and then we're also going to uh, probably look at some posts uh, the post dates because there's something whatever we'll see that in here in the next video I'm gonna leave a link in the description below over for the full WordPress tutorial playlist uh, again, visit damoscaluniversity.com. Please like this video. Please leave any specific comments or concerns below. Please reach out to me if you have anything that you'd like additional help with. You can also find my books over at Amazon, including my most recent book, Video Marketing for Entrepreneurs. We also have books at Barnes & Noble, iTunes, uh, audible.com, and many more locations. So have a great afternoon. Looking forward to talking to you again soon.